Thank you, Canon, for supporting our channel. Hi, I'm Ariel here. So today, we will find out which lens is suitable for studio photography. This, this, or this. We'll start our shooting today by the 15 to 35 f 2.8 L. Let's see the result on the 15, 24, and 35. As you can see, in using the 15 to 35, it's a very ultra wide angle lens. So to get the shot that I need, I need to get very close to the subject itself. But when you're getting close to the subject itself, the character of the uh, wide ultra wide angle will cause the subject to be uh, distorted in all ways. And you can see that I go very close, even I change the setting of the 15 to 20 and 24, my uh, distance to the subject is still very close. You can see almost touching her face. So it's not recommended to use a uh, wide angle, ultra wide angle for this kind of uh, studio portrait. Now we we'll show you the result here. One, two, three. As you see, ultra wide angle. Her face is super distorted at 50 mm. So it's not recommended and all the backdrop you can see is all included while a uh, 20mm is slightly reduced but you can see the backdrop is still around and very obviously but as it goes on to a uh, 24mm you can see her face quite become normal but the background is still inside so it's not recommended to shoot under 24mm We continue with our RF 2470 f2.8 at 35 50 and 70 mm. So we we'll show the result now. Changing a 24 70, we can see that my distance with the subject is much more far away, but it's still a pretty close. If we started to use a 24 to get the an angle, and then we will take a longer distance of 50 mm to 70 mm. We actually is getting a uh, far and far away from the subject itself. And you can see I'm, uh, my distance is getting far and far away to get the shot that I need. Now you see, by using a 35mm, the backdrop is almost gone. The face is a bit distorted, but it's not the shot that I needed. When we go to 50mm, all the backdrop is missing, and then it just left the back, white backdrop, but it's uh, much more delighted photos. While zooming to a 70mm, you can see the person is getting compressed and more details on the face and the subject itself is more solid in front of the camera. Now we continue with the Canon RF 70 to 200 f2.8 at 70, 100 and 135 and 200mm. So let's see the result. When we are using a 70 to 200, my distance from the subject have to be very far away but it creates a very nice di uh, compression from the subject to the background you see the lighting, I never move the lighting at all but the result is come up slightly compressed from the subject to the backdrop and you can see now now you can see 100mm the person is getting compressed and the background with isolation is much more clearer but the subject is even smaller and bigger you can see in 135mm she's become more and more bigger compared to the big drop itself and the more we go to 200 you can see the person is filling out all the fill and the backdrop is totally isolated from the background itself now we can see the recap of all the photos we finished the photo shoot today which photo do you like among the three lenses? 15 to 35, 24 70 to 7200? Please write down the comment below so let us know and vote which one of the photos that you like. And please subscribe our channel for if we have made more videos out of it. Hope to see you all next time. Bye!